Call the meeting to order. It's 7.02. Um, the first, hi, everybody. Hi. hi. <laughs> the first uh, thing on our agenda is a review of the minutes that Roseanne did. Um, not Roseanne. Grace did. I'm sorry. Roseanne is here. Grace is not here. Yeah. Uh, she said she was going to be joining late. Um, Very good minutes. Very good. Excellent minutes. Does anyone have any corrections? Uh, I think on the uh, December meeting, uh, technically, I think the uh, land farm by Bill Kenny belongs to the town, not natural resources. Got it. Natural resources manages it. Got it. I believe that's correct. I will change that. And I couldn't seem to open the January ones for some reason. I don't know whether other people did or not. No, that there aren't any January ones yet. Oh, what? There was another. Oh, the other one was just the um the agenda. Unless oh, I said okay. something I didn't need. I got need that to. all right. Yeah. <laughs> Good. <laughs> All right, I will make that correction. Does anybody have any other corrections? Move they be approved as corrected. Thank you, Steve. Yes. Right. I, I second to accept as corrected. Great. So second. So that we've passed our minutes. All right, minutes approved. So, moving on, news about Concord Farms and Farmers. Hi, everyone. <laughs> <laughs> What's going on? Uh, I'm very excited to be back. <laughs> Welcome back, Mark. Yeah, thank you. Mark, where how, are you working is... now? Are you still at um, Saltbox or? No, I'm actually at Gaining Ground. I became their new director of agriculture. Oh, great! Oh, yeah, congratulations. Thank you. Uh, it's been it's been awesome so far, and we're looking forward to a great season. Uh, very very different from the for profit sector, and um, yeah, it's been it's been a an educational experience so far, and I'm just so thrilled to be back. And uh, yeah, and actually, and you're just getting started. <laughs> just getting exactly and uh on that too i've been helping out ben with saltbox he's looking for uh a farmer to lease his land actually oh wow uh, yeah so i just wanted to throw that out there for everyone if anyone has any uh leads on for him uh <clears throat> we had a visit last week with a, a busload of people from the uh, north american Oh, I, I'm trying to think of retail, retail farmers organization. <laughs> Basically, roadside stands and a lot of their emphasis is on agritainment, which is not our major thing at all. But uh, uh, it was interesting. We visited with people from Saskatchewan and California and Minnesota and all over. Interesting group. So what do they mean by entertainment? <laughs> well, like all the mazes and um, pumpkin rides. I, I know one place now that build a big shed like you'd love to have to store your machinery in and they put a mess of kernels of corn in there for kids to play in in the summer. Like a so ball crawl. <laughs> I mean, there are all kinds of things going on now. Like a ball pit, but corn? <laughs> that sounds so unhygienic. <laughs> that's, that's all I'm thinking. It's like the health department would never. <laughs> I, I don't know what happens. As long as it's agritainment, it doesn't matter. You're not even <laughs> I don't think that. it would happen in Concord. <laughs> I can just see Gabby going, yeah. absolutely not. <laughs> no, the, all these things that attract people for the recreational part of it. And a lot of the new places now, the 
going more into that than they have production. Yeah. Well, somebody told me that the longer you can keep them on your property, the more money they'll spend. <laughs> well, like, like, it, like if you, grow. like if you charge them to leave. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like that's like the opposite of our model, which is like, please come in and then please leave immediately. You're taking so, parking space. <laughs> we're we're very happy entertaining people for an event each month or something, and make a day of it, and then the rest of the time is. We Don't encourage agree. people to entertain themselves <laughs> with, with the produce that we provide produce at home. <laughs> yeah, in your kitchen, chop it up. Go chop it up. <laughs> we did uh, this afternoon. The contractor finally came in with a replacement metal to repair our barn, barn roof from the storm a few weeks oh. ago. Oh, oh That's wow! Home underway. <laughs> wow. You could do the veggies race at, at Hutchins <laughs> as a regular entertainment. Oh, God. <laughs> no, no. The track lives at Shimoni. <laughs> <laughs> okay. The fact is, we don't have enough parking. Like, it's like we don't even want too many people to come at once. It's like we're not prepared. No, we literally we want them to come, buy all their stuff, and leave immediately. And leave. Like, <laughs> up a parking space. Please get out of here. Like Saturday morning when they start parking on the road, it just starts getting That's like nerve scary. Yeah. Such problems to have. <laughs> it would be nice if we had, we don't have anything flat. We're just, we're on a hill, so. Right. Yeah. Two tiers. Two tiers, yeah. <laughs> well, the employees are parking on the lower tier right now. <laughs> <laughs> There's not enough space for them either. True. Um, so has anybody th thought of planting anything yet? Obviously my, not. But. My schedule says to seed uh, onions and leeks and artichokes this week. But, um, and I'm still hoping to do it, but I've, I ripped the greenhouse apart. So we have to rebuild it before I can seed anything. Mm. But do you need new plastic on it? No, we like took the end walls. It, it's like a weird... It's like a building, so we like rip the end walls off, and it was all rotting. It was, it was really bad. So this is not the new greenhouse. It's not oh. a new no no. The new greenhouse no. is fine. So we have a greenhouse that's like built into a hill. And I know it. So, I know it. It's so energy efficient that that's always where we start right. uh, things because we don't have to heat this enormous thing with propane. It's just like basically it heats itself. I mean. It, uh so uh but it it was falling apart so so hopefully that'll be back together i think i don't know i mean it seems like it's warming up already <laughs> i know it looks yeah. like I, I wonder what the it's going to do the maple season oh, oh yeah. my god yeah yeah has anyone started yet well i uh, <laughs> I suppose you could have got a little this afternoon, but right. I mean, I've seen buds on, swelling. We we haven't really had real hard frozen ground. Right. Didn't thinking, last year either. The gaining ground normally does. They do, you guys do maple syrup, don't you? We do. We're starting uh, next week. We're spraying all the big tanks today and getting them ready. Yeah. Um, yeah, it'll be my first time with um, maple sugaring, so. I'm excited about it. Do you have tubes or buckets? Um, we have two big tanks that will have tubes connected to them to a, a pump. And so um, Carrie, one of the co-farm managers, just put together a, a, a DIY um, pump system. So she's pretty excited about that. So we'll see how that goes. Otherwise, I've heard in the past that they've been just using buckets and carrying them up and down the stairs and Sounds crazy. Yeah. So I, I think they're doing some good work on that. Ow. Steve, when do you Steve, when do you start alliums? I don't think I'll start what? Onions and leeks and 
shallots and all of that. Well, it's getting about time. It's getting about <laughs> time. Yeah. Anybody else got any exciting news? <laughs> no? Probably a good time to plant your snow peas. <laughs> <laughs> how how is hiring going for people? We actually just Everybody looking for a job. <laughs> yeah, we just completed, which I think um, we were waiting on one person to confirm, but uh, it was a pretty good, a good pool of people that we had coming in. So that's good. That was a good process. Do you have a lot of repeats, Eliza? Right. Hopefully. <laughs> the problem with repeats is these days they cost a lot more. Yeah. <laughs> the days of minimum wage with a high school kid and yeah, as are yeah. over. It's, it's like, great to have people come back, but it's like, oh shit, we're paying them what? Right. No, we we've got we've got a fair amount of returning folks. We're pretty grateful for that, but we haven't. I mean. Yeah, we've we had, haven't had a lot of we haven't had a lot of applicants. applicants. We've had a we just had a couple come in today. Um but yeah, we're very grateful. We seem to have people who still like us and want to come back and work for us. <laughs> well, another way that labor costs are really going up, uh, we got a new tax bill on a nice new uh, H2A housing. Oh. And it, it's uh, 17,000 a year. Yeah. Oh my god, that's crazy. When when do the Jamaicans come? Oh, April and May. Oh, wow, that's a big hit. That's crazy. Mm. I mean, especially because it's specifically for that purpose. It's not. It doesn't have a. Yeah, well, I I have a, I filed for an appeal, but I'm not sure the assessors are pretty well locked in with the laws as to what they can do. So we'll see, we'll see what happens. I did too. Oh yeah. Yeah, because it's the same, the same thing. Like it's, it's, a, it's a weird property. They were like asking for comparables and they, I talked to the guy in town. He was like, yep, you're right. There's not a single comparable property in the entire town. <laughs> well, we, we have the same. Maybe, maybe Steve's property is the only comparable. <laughs> it was in Sudbury. Well, <laughs> ours is very much a one one of a kind because uh, we built a duplex in Sudbury and the only way you can build a duplex in Sudbury is for farm labor housing. Yeah, ours is the same. The and only it just it goes a portion of the year. Uh, so I'm debating whether it's worth trying to get it under a commercial rate. Uh, the uh, H2A, I mean, the uh, C, goodness sakes, the uh, farmland tax is at the commercial rate. And so far, Concord's at a uniform rate, but Sudbury, the commercial rate's 50% higher. So well, if we get the whole thing as a commercial property, uh, then the rate goes up 50%. And I don't know whether they get the valuation down enough or not. Hmm. Ricky? Maybe we need to go to the legislature. <laughs> Farm. Oh. Hey, Mary. Oh, you're muted, Mary. Can I ask a question about that? Because um, this concerns me. So why did your tax property tax go up? Because the valuation went up so high? Yeah, the land evaluation went up. The land valuation. OK. OK. Good. So we'll see what they say. Anybody, anybody else got any hot topics? Nope, crickets. OK. <laughs> Um, spring forum update. I don't have the most exciting update. I, uh, I have, I have lots of emails back and forth with several potential speakers. No one so far has committed to anything. Um, 
I would say the most promising person is a woman named Erin Lane, who works for the USDA Climate Hub in the Northeast. She's out of New Hampshire. Um, she focuses on ag and forestry in the Northeast and um, in terms of like data on what's happening um, climate wise and how that affects farms in the Northeast. Um, she's very interested. I think her schedule is still a little bit up in the air. Um, a couple of people I've talked to, more than a couple, um, are uh, asking if it's possible to not be in person, like if they can present by Zoom um, and we could still have the farmer panel there and it would be a live presentation, like they would be able to answer questions and go back and forth, but they wouldn't physically be there. I don't know how anybody feels about that. I mean, I think it's preferable to have somebody in person, but if we can't get somebody in person, is this a good alternative? Uh, how would the equipment be available to uh, accommodate that in the hall? If we end up at the library, they have the equipment to accommodate that. They can do that. Um, the library is very interested in hosting, particularly in April, because it's um, Earth Day, you know, environmental. Like, it's right up their alley for an April um, event. The issue with the library, they have the technology to do that, and they can help us set up, and that would not be an issue. They're also very good at promoting it would have to be earlier in the evening than we've usually done these because the library closes at, I think, eight o'clock and they like to have all the events done by 730. So it would probably be like a five o'clock event. It wouldn't be like we've done six or 630 in the past. Um, I don't think we could do it at Harvey Wheeler. I mean, we could do it at Harvey Wheeler, but we'd really have to have somebody in person. Like the tech isn't really there for us or at least us non-techies to maybe use the tech to get to have a, a smooth event at Harvey Wheeler if we choose this option. I, I think that would certainly broaden the selection of speakers you'd be able to attract. Yeah. Yeah, I think we could probably get somebody better. People feel like that's an okay option. I mean, I think that's a common thing now. I did the, the woman who spoke from NOAA at the... Um, what is it, Middlesex Conservation District meeting recently, or it was in December. She was the, uh, you know, she was at her office down in Taunton, but gave a full presentation with questions and answers and the group was all present um, in person. It worked out pretty well. I mean, it's not quite the same, but it was still nice. Um, would we get the Doris Kearns Goodwin room? I think we could. Then, I mean, in the, the live farmer panel, I think, I think it would be phenomenal and we could maybe get some restaurants to to invite people to come for dinner afterwards for <laughs> some special. That's a good idea. Yeah, we could we could turn it into a like a, a night out. Night. <laughs> Makes sense to me the to, to do the Zoom. It's okay with yeah. Any other feedback on it? Is anybody like absolutely not? I feel like everybody's used to being on Zoom and this technological world we're living in now. So I don't think it would be anything for anyone to, you know, have a challenge with. I mean, yeah. the big problem is if there's technical difficulties and this person yeah. can't communicate. Then we just have a borrow panel. Well. <laughs> and as we discuss this on Zoom. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, the nice part is, is if, if it is, on Zoom, I, I guess I don't really know enough about the tech, but I guess there's also a possibility of people being on Zoom listening to the presentation. Um, oh yeah, definitely. I guess yeah. you know. But I, I yeah. also. And that means we have to, we would have to broadcast. From yeah. Our end yeah, we which is a little more that. complicated. But if the library yeah. can help us do that, that might be an option. Um. Yeah. Hi, Emily. Um. You would you invite <clears throat> Minuteman Media Network? to film it yeah. to be so that's i mean that that regularly happens anyway right <clears throat> but i don't think that that would solve the issue of being able to host the event for host it live for people who are attending by zoom yeah i can look into that we we host various lectures and uh i don't know we have something i forget five it's, you have to have a special uh, Zoom if you're doing a lot of people, and we have that, so we could probably use ours, and I can find out the specifics about how you do it. 
or our education person does it. So maybe she'd be willing to manage that part of it if we decide to do that. Yeah, I think if I can also, I mean, I can talk to the library more and find out real specifics. I just wanted to get general feedback on like, whether or not this was a go or no go situation before I went down the full logistics route. But Dan, if you and me maybe want to talk to the library and figure out what's yeah. possible. Um, sure. I, um, I think the library yeah. is, it, it would be a little earlier than our usual events, but the library has a lot more publicity and big reach. So I feel like we could get more people to come if it's at the library. Um, Do you think people are as available if it's that early? Or... That's a, I don't know. I don't know too much about I mean, I feel like our general crowd is usually not exactly a nine to fiver, so it's probably fine. Um, right. Are we cutting off some people by having it at five? I don't know. There is the possibility of doing it on a weekend, but it would have to be earlier because they close earlier on a weekend too. So it wouldn't be an evening on the weekend. I, mean, I don't know anything about it, but uh... The umbrella place, do they, would that be an option? I don't know. I don't know if they'd be into this kind of an event. Like, I think right. we'd have to have an arts component to be in there. Right. Um, the art of growing. Farming <laughs> is an art. <laughs> More yeah. of an art than anything. Sometimes it, it feels be. like an art, not a science, right? It's yeah. not a science. I'm pretty sure about that. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Um, well, well, I mean, I to look into it. I mean, but I think the library, if, if the only, yeah. my I only invitation would be the, the timing. But. Well, so we could um, look into a Saturday afternoon or something if people. Yeah, would that be a good option? Could be. Fine with me. Um, I was just thinking the umbrella programming usually ends every day at five o'clock. So the, the parking lot over there is crazy. But if we waited till 530, they're cleared out, so people would be able to park. And the library. Yeah, the, well, the library is the same as the umbrella parking, yeah. unfortunately. <laughs> so, um, but but if we went five thirty to seven, that still gives people a chance to go out for dinner, and maybe some people get there after work. Who knows? Yeah, I mean, I, it also it doesn't have to be super long. We could be talking about like a half hour presentation and a half hour yeah. panel, and um, you know. Um, yeah. what, what's the theme this year the theme we've we've gone with sort of climate change and the effect on local farms and what are farms doing to deal with climate change how to build an ark is that cold <laughs> enough for the garlic say what do you think it's gotten cold enough for the garlic oh yeah it was warmer <laughs> last year Last winter was warmer, except for two days. Really? Oh. Yeah. There were two days that were like negative 17 and negative 14, but the ground never even froze last year at all. Wow. All right. Um, this is all good feedback. Thank you, guys. I think I'm, um, there's a couple different people I'm talking to. Mostly Aaron Lane seems the most appropriate but also probably the most likely um especially if we give her the option of a zoom i think she could probably commit a little easier so i will touch base with her and um see about dates and i think right now the library in april is wide open in the evenings they have some weekend events and i think like april 7th is booked but other than that um they didn't have much going on yet so uh Anything else? We well, there is April. Sorry, April vacation. I was just going to say, in April you have vacation week and town meeting, and we're trying uh, to get Patriots. before. Yeah, we're we're trying to be early April, like first two weeks before we hit into that stuff. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And I right now there's nothing on the town calendar either, so. I checked. <laughs> so we're we're in the clear right now. We gotta book it soon though, if we want to get on there before anybody else does. Um all right. I think that was the only thing I had to talk about with that one. Uh so yeah, so we're sort of still in progress and working on it, but hopefully things will get nailed down soon. Um sound good? 
All right. Uh, Ag Day 2024 is our next agenda item, which is a very short agenda item. <laughs> uh, we're we're doing great. Everything's, you know, there's there's nothing to really do right now. The only things that I was thinking we probably should book are when we want the light plant banner to go up and um, when we are maybe doing the window display at um, the bookstore. I think we need to kind of get on their calendars. Um, I was going to say is great one. What are the Ag Day again? I'm sorry? What day what do we choose? Day day? Ag Day is the 7th of September. Um, so we've usually done the week beforehand if we can get it, uh, which is a short week because of the Labor Day. They don't usually get the banner up until the 3rd, but I don't really think that's a big deal. Um, are folks good with that? Is there any reason we would want to try and move it? I mean, I haven't checked with them to see if it's already booked, but is that okay? No, I think just before it's a good time. Yeah. And then we've done, I think we've been able, some years we've been able to get the week beforehand for the bookstore. Sometimes it has to be the week before that. But I think either way, it's probably fine. Um, but I can reach out to both places and try to get on their calendars. And then last year, I think Grace and Roseanne and Happy did the um, window display, which came out quite cute. I don't know if they're on. They are. They are. They're, they're, muted. they're muted. You're muted, guys. Are you? They're lurking. They're lurking. <laughs> <laughs> well, I was hoping to, to volunteer them again. <laughs> hey, Happy. Oh, I'll, I'll be there in just a minute. <laughs> Thanks, Happy. <laughs> hey. All right. Well, I'll I'll reach out and try to book those for the same time. Hello. Hi, Happy. Hello. You up for doing the uh, display again this year? Yes. Hi. Sounded like yes. Okay. <laughs> Sounds like she's on the other line. I know, I was going to say, sounds like a yes. We'll make her commit anyway. <laughs> right. She said yes. We have it on the recording. This whole thing's Let recording. the minutes reflect. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> All right. Um, other than that, uh, I don't. we don't really have to talk about anything about Ag Day right now. So um, we can skip ahead to other business. Um. My other business, but I have a couple things. Sorry to, sorry to dominate this. Um, let's see. I'm I'm presenting at the select. Wait, Mary, what's it called? The select board hearing. It's a hearing. Hearing select board hearing. Our um, bag fee exemption article. Um, the ag committee is the supporting organization for that article. Um, but they were hoping it will go on the consent calendar, and. That is the end of February, that hearing. I do have some an update on that. The the yeah. bill that the town passed that would impose the bag fee that you're trying to amend to exempt farmers was tied up in a committee in at the legislature. And I guess it got out of committee. Mm -hmm. So it's a little further along that long, arduous path. So um, I don't know if that's good news or bad news for you. I mean, uh, because you... <laughs> If it does get through the committee that gets approved by the legislature, then you you want a, an amendment. But your amendment is t attached to that. So the short thing is it's moving through and your amendment is attached. So great. Thank you, Mary. <laughs> um so that's happening. Uh Mimi um Mimi asked, this is uh, from the Economic Vitality Group, had just asked if anybody had ever worked with um, Julia Shanks, who wrote the Farmer's Office about budgeting on farms. Has anybody ever worked with her? I saw her present once at a conference, but that's my only interaction with her. Um, if anybody is interested in talking to her, um, I guess Mimi knows her and so was sort of just offering to connect people. And was just curious if anybody had used her before. So I will tell her now. <laughs> um, and let's see. 
And I just got an email from Ben about Saltbox. <laughs> so anybody, <laughs> we, can, we can cover that next time, but that's, that's cool. Um, does Wait, anybody else have any other Ben, What did he say? Oh, he's just, he's looking for somebody to rent the farmland. Oh. How much farmable land does he have, Mark? Um, well, the farm total is 10 acres. The pastures he would uh, offer up, which is about uh, five acres for if anyone wanted to raise animals. And then it's about two acres of annual crops and then another acre in the perennials. Right now there's the hops, the grapes, the raspberries, um, and some blueberries and the fruit trees. It, it, it should be a pretty, it should be pretty sweet deal for someone. The irrigation's all set up. There's barn space. There's the little house that's on the farm for people to use for the kitchen or the bathroom um, or to break. Uh, so yeah, I think he's he's looking to to just connect with somebody to create some kind of a, a lease agreement so that they could be um, use, using the land. And and also, I think he hopes to have them sell to Saltbox Kitchen as well. Um, so, yeah. Quickly scanning his email. Yeah, that, it's like a really nice opportunity for somebody. Yeah. I don't know if we can think of anybody who's looking for something like that. Send him Ben's way. I think he plans on uh, posting on craft too. I'm going to go through that with them uh, probably the beginning of next week. That's awesome. Yeah. Get them on there. It is a great setup for somebody who's looking to do that. So. Yeah. And um, it wasn't farmed last year, but a lot of the the beds and things are all pretty still intact, especially from how I left it with the no-till system. So someone could go, go in and, and really um, even just in addition to what they're already doing, you know, as a possibility as well. Was it organic? We we had all organic practices, um, but we did we were not certified organic. But we didn't um, do any of the spraying or um, <laughs> synthetic or anything like that. We did compost mostly, uh, bio nutrient density too. We did a lot of mineral applications. Anybody else have any other business we forgot to cover? Nope. <laughs> Mary, oh, you're on mute, Mary. I still mute. Um, when you do your um, forum in the spring, if you could get the word out to the coordinators at the community gardens in town, I think that, that would be something I think you'd get some, some yeah. good attendance from that group. Oh yeah. And I, I think there's four, there's four community gardens and then there's probably four or six coordinators. I think and I Joe have... knows, Joe, Joe knows that. Yeah, yeah. And I have some, I don't know if the emails are now old. I have last year's list, I think. Okay, great. Good. But yeah, we can definitely, <laughs> they are a prime audience. <laughs> Good. Okay. <laughs> oh. um, I did want to mention um, Avery, our volunteer coordinator. She's been compiling um, some files so that we can refer a lot of our volunteers to for-profit farms because we can't sell them any food, but to for-profit farms to to go and support whether they're while they're in town. Um, and I just didn't know if if anybody feels like um, adding anything specific about about your offering, um, then we, you can connect with Avery at gainingground.org. Um, How do you spell A-V-E-R-Y. A -E Thank you. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, that would be nice. I feel like I spend a lot of time also sending people to Gaining Ground who want to volunteer at a farm. <laughs> so it would be, that would be cool. like a really nice bag of forth. Be like, oh, you can volunteer with us then go shop with them. <laughs> yeah, <definitely. laughs> That's awesome. <laughs> cool. Uh, public comment. I have a question. A, a farming a question. question. Hello. 
over in over in our uh, community garden this year i planted it as a cover crop uh oats i planted oats and i did that because i was assured that the oats would grow in the fall and then they would die in the winter and uh, so they wouldn't be in the way in the spring uh but the oats are not dying and <laughs> <laughs> they, they did I'm not sure get they were oats. <laughs> I'm yeah. sure they were oats. They, yes, they were oats. That from because from all of our oats are dead. Like yeah, dead. I was that too. Oh, really? Yeah. 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 Oh, well, golly! <laughs> <laughs> I think you might have got rye. No, 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 no. I I I did that about four years ago, and I, I learned my lesson there. Uh, I had to dig maybe, it all maybe you shouldn't have left a blanket on them <laughs> <laughs> to keep it keep keeping them warm. Well, <laughs> I don't know. So my so I, my my choice is is going to be I'm going to turn it all over, you know, with a lot of hoeing and and shoveling. Uh, or does it make sense? Is it a reasonable thing to just leave it in place and and plant in in, in the midst of the oats? Does that is that a sensible thing to do? Not if it starts growing again. Well, so if they're still can. alive, they probably have they they haven't flowered. They no, haven't no, seeded, right. So they're they still want to do that. So if they're still they're alive, three, they're going to compete with whatever you plant. That's, in that between makes sense. Yes. Yeah. If they're still alive, yeah. yeah. Are they standing All up right. well, or have they like curved over? They're about three inches high, and some of the tips of the uh, leaves are are brown. They, in other words, they, they got nipped a bit by some amount of coldness, but the but the main part of the stalk, each of the stalks generally is looks perfectly green and um, hmm. I don't know what, not dead at all. <laughs> so interesting. Found up. <laughs> Just kidding. Oh. I, I, need to, I need to find some goats, I guess. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> All right. I'm going to turn them over. Hmm. All right, well, no cover crop next year. <laughs> <laughs> Usually oats, our oats reliably die. When did you seed them? Uh, um, October. Yeah, that's later than we usually seed them. So maybe because they oh. were so young uh, and it hasn't been that cold. It just are getting going. They may be more uh, tolerant to cold when they're when they're very young. <laughs> what you say, they were about 10 inches high? No, Two. no, but th th three inches high. They're tiny. Yeah. Tiny oh. oats. Tiny oats. They may still die spring. even next week. Next week looks like some, some more uh, cold temps. They could still... Right. Keep the hope, Joe. Maybe they'll die. Yeah, you can hope they die. <laughs> You'll build big biceps. Just, just yeah, really if, you, if, if you mow them close, I don't know whether they regrow or not now. Okay. Well, all right. Well, that's my dilemma. Thank you. Good luck. Anomaly. Lois, you're muted. Uh, um, this big thanks to Steve for um, hosting the winter sow, sowing um, for a big event there in January. That was really nice and uh, got a lot of people out to plant things. And there's been several more events around town and this one coming up at the Council on Aging. Um, the group plants in jugs. And of course, the most of them are, you know, they're pollinator friendly plants that are flowers and most of the perennials that are um native to the area so so we've been we've been planting but you know put the jugs out in the cold and get some stratification on them and hopefully they grow so thanks for the support from your group to you know kind of get that piece of life moving i, I think they figured you had about 140 people didn't it yeah, over 100 i would say yeah it was it was it was hopping. <laughs> wow. wow. And they had 160 originally registered for the first week, and that was the, the week everybody got snowed out. And um, so then it was a little bit like, who's going to come? 
I'd say definitely over a hundred. Wow. So and, and like they like I said, um, let's see a week. It's so not this Tuesday, a week from Tuesday, the twentieth, I think it is there is Tuesday in the afternoon and um, that week there's um another one at, at Council on Aging. And they're doing um the high school kids and um Isabel and some of them are doing a one at the Alcott School. Yeah. They, and they just did one here at Peter Bulkley at here where I live, um got Everett Gardens, um Peter Bulkley Terrace. So that went worked out nice. Yep. Yeah, yep. Yeah. And uh, it's a lot of it's been a lot of fun. I mean, so we're planting a different a little different way. <laughs> okay. It was funny to hear you you guys talk about killing killing plants. That 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 is absolutely it was almost slapstick. It was so it me, but it I mean it's real. You kill weeds all the time. <laughs> yeah, I know. Weeds are plants. <laughs> Yeah, it's We're constantly killing things. <laughs> but it, it just it just sounded so funny and yet it's so like part of it. <laughs> Thanks. Make my night. <laughs> All right. Does anybody else have any comments or anything else we gotta share? Oh, I was no. supposed to say who I was, but you know who I am, right? We know who you are, Lois. Don't worry. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, I see Grace. Oh, hello. <laughs> so it took us forever to figure out how to unmute it. New Mac, same problem. <laughs> Not a fan of technology. It did an update and it was acting weird at the beginning because of that. Uh -huh. Zoom, yeah, I couldn't figure out how to unmute it. Well, we successfully well, done that. Now that the now meeting, that the meeting is, is over, over we're, we're, on, we're on target here. <laughs> Congratulations. Thank you. Awesome. Are we guys uh March 14th? Is that right? We can't do it. Okay. We can't do we do want that. To that uh that hap <clears throat> that happens to be our 65th wedding anniversary. Oh wow. 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 I might not be there either. <laughs> we we can move it. Do we want to move it up? do the next weekend or the one before yeah we could do the seventh or the 21st we could go with the seventh the seventh works okay steve you okay yep. with the seventh yep yeah sure. okay all right i well, think an ag com meeting sounds like a great anniversary <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> somehow i think someone else might not agree <laughs> no I might not be in on that one <laughs> Congratulations, Steve. That's wonderful. Yeah, that's a very big deal. That's a big one. That's great. Maybe Joe's the one you need to congratulate. <laughs> <laughs> Send our congratulations. <laughs> um, all right. Would any like to motion to adjourn the meeting? I'll, I'll motion. motion to adjourn. Oh. <laughs> Thank you, Grace. I'll second it. You just showed up. We're gonna <laughs> <Good> guy, yeah. <laughs> Thank you guys. I will see you all on the seventh. Thank you all so much for coming. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you. Bye. 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 Bye.